mentira que ya amaneció y ya los pajaritos cantan la bendición con todo que lo cumpla feliz hey guys i'm back hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is michelle anna if you're new to this channel welcome oh there's a hair in my eyeball if you have been here before hey sis so first things first i want to give all the glory and honor to god because i made it into another year of life i am officially 29 years old and although no one ever believes it which is excellent because i did ask god to like just preserve the years of my youth because i want to stay that way um and i do feel like it's working but yes i just turned 29 on may 13. i feel super hyped because i just had coffee so i'm i have a lot of energy but please don't let that fool you because honey it has been quite the last few weeks y'all like it has been interesting so i didn't write any notes or like and not any bullet points at all so hopefully i can stay on track but that's the first thing i wanted to um i wanted to address i did turn 29 on may 13th thank you guys so 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 much oh my gosh i am so appreciative of every comment of every dm of every everything that you guys sent over with love for my birthday like i feel so loved and seen and appreciated by you guys which is why like which is the reason I just feel like I keep going because I I wish I can meet you guys in person but until then it's kind of like it's so cool to be able to have that relationship where you guys know my birthday and it's like hey girl happy birthday um so thank you so much from the bottom to the top of my heart I am so grateful for every single shout out and every single message my hair is just okay so the second thing I want to address is where I'm at right now <laughs> I know when y'all first saw this video you're like is that a closet yes it is a closet I don't know if you guys are the same but please tell me if you are I like shifting my room around a lot um, especially when I feel like I'm in a creative kind of a rut or like I'm just not flowing creatively I need to change stuff around like things need to change I need to especially like where like my sacred place like my room and like all that stuff and for some of you that don't know I'm kind of like in between two states right essentially I live um, I'm living right now in South Carolina but I also have a full-blown room, wardrobe, family, and everything in New Jersey. That's where I was born and raised. And that's, you know, that's where I'm kind of like, I'm at half the time. Um, but in South Carolina, here is where my church is. So as you can imagine, like, it's super like my heart is torn because it's like my family is over there and there's a lot you know you've got new york city in my backyard a lot of opportunity and like all this stuff but yet you know god has your girl here in south carolina where my church home is and where i feel really led and called to serve in this season so it's very um it's a very interesting season of my life so I won't bore you guys with the details unless you guys want me to talk about that a little bit more because there's a whole lot compressed into me coming down here, when I came down here, why I came down here, and all of that. But this video is essentially about, um, you know, just the birthday blues and blessings that I felt around my birthday time and concerning just uh, me getting a year older. And that's what really this video is all about. I know it took me about, what, four minutes to get to that point, but I promise this video will not be long. Um, I like to keep my videos short, even though y'all be wanting longer videos. Um, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna add some live vlog uh, footage that I did actually have from um, like my birthday and like the last um, the last few weeks or whatnot and um, that's probably what's gonna make the video long but I hope you guys stick around to watch it so we've covered the 29 we've covered why I'm even in my closet I literally moved my desk into my closet for now I just did this last night so I'm not too sure how long I'm gonna keep it um, I am kind of liking this like in the closet like talking to you guys kind of flow um, but I'm gonna see how this all works out because I don't know it's getting a little warm in here so whew. 
Okay, I, man, I don't even know really where to start, but just to get to the point, um, I have, this was the first year that, um, that I experienced a, just a lot of emotional, um, battling before my birthday um and concerning just getting a year older um so and it stems from the fact that you know my husband passed away the day before his birthday and i have far outlived his age that he passed away he passed away at the age of 26 years old and he was about to be 27 and so that first birthday after curtis passing you know it, it was hard um and I definitely had that in the back of my mind. But for some reason, this past birthday was just really hard, y'all. Like, the blues and, and all of the feels and everything hit me so hard. But I thank God that I was able to go home for like a week. Actually, like a week and a half. And I was able to just be around family, be around friends. Um, just genuine relationship, genuine friendship, genuine um, time, um, quality time with the family. And it was Mother's Day also that weekend. And then the following week is my mom's birthday. So it's just a lot kind of going on when I kind of went back. Hey, one, two. But I'm so glad that I made that decision to just be around family around my birthday time. So, but I think that the weeks kind of leading up, because it's like my last year in my 20s, and it's like, oh my gosh, like so much anticipation uh, for this year, for this year of life, because it's my last year in this decade. And, and, and to be honest with you, like, I feel like this decade of life in my twenties have bought about so many things that I feel like I have lost. Um, I felt like I lost a lot of my identity. I felt like, um, I was stripped from so many things. And so I kind of like felt so much pressure to enter this year 29 with a bang. And I'm like, I have to do this and I have to do that. And I have to feel this and I have to feel that. And when it wasn't happening, it was just so much like a cloud was kind of like over me. And to be honest with you, even today, I kind of felt that Ugh, I can't move on from this. Like, God, I need you to lift this like right now. Like, I can't do this anymore. And so, so I had to pause and like change my little um, card, SD card. So hopefully I transition smoothly because I... I kind of remember where I was at, but you know, I just remember just feeling this like cloud and listen, I'm a firm believer that Jesus heals, that prayer works, that the blood of Jesus still works. Like I am all for that, but I do believe that sometimes we need help from other professionals, counsels, leaders, um, pastors, whatever, you know, mentors, whatever, whatever you feel like you need. And so I hit on my girl again. Um, my doctor has been working with me, or my therapist has been working with me for over two years at this point. And in the very beginning of all of this, um, I was seeing her like maybe every other week or every week, I can't really remember. And um, you know, when we first started this whole journey. And so I'm so grateful for her. And um, I'm a firm believer that it is okay to seek help from a professional therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever it be, there is no shame in that. Um, God made them for a reason and um, created or allowed this profession to be a thing. So we need to use those resources and not act like, you know, we could just pray it away. And, and I hope that that is um, understood in a way where it's not like, you know, prayer won't work, but I think that sometimes we need to make some steps and, and make the decision to really better ourselves. And so, you know, in the midst of just, you know, really fighting this just warfare and praying and and really uh, dealing with a lot of anxiety, just like, girl, like a lot. And, um, and just this just wave of sadness. And to be honest with you guys, like, I think that um, for me, it kind of goes in and out, you know, and 
I have to identify when I feel it and I need to like literally be like oh wait hold up like I need to do something about this and and go from there and so I hit her up and I had a super amazing productive effective time with her while I was home because she is in New Jersey and um, and so yeah, like I, I literally had to make that step. And although God was already dealing with me in that regard, I couldn't put pressure on myself thinking like, you know, yeah, this year may be well, like maybe amazing. And I, I'm completely aligning myself with whatever it is that God has um, it planned for me and in store. And I'm like, I receive all the blessings, but in the natural sense, I can't just like, put all this pressure on myself with saying like this this year has to be the year that everything is restored and that everything is is just completely shifted and that lord you just provide all the things that i could have ever wanted to make this decade turn around in the way that i see it turning around and then god reminded me it's like that's cool like it's okay that you feel that way but if you want me to do it like as in god to do it you have to allow me to do it when it is the kairos time when it is the time for when it's like the perfect alignment between my destiny and my will for your life and my yes and my complete surrender so i essentially can't walk around with that pressure but i can live with a with a a mindset of expectation a mindset of knowing that the lord is restoring that he is doing the exceedingly and the abundantly and it's okay to be an expectation but god has already done so much god has already done so much in my life and i constantly remind myself of that because we get stuck in this like comparison thing and it's like no sis like let's pause and like let's look at our lives and see the things that god has done so that we can put a praise on our mouth like literally thank god for the 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 mental stability that we currently have for the blessing of family for the blessing of you know just the favor on our lives and and honestly that is really hard to do y'all like it's really hard to be in a situation in a mindset and try to see yourself out of it and try to have faith without even seeing what it is that you're having faith for that is not easy but that is what the lord calls us to do and so although i was feeling in this funk about you know yet another year that that the lord is is really gifting me and i've outlived my husband and that, dealing with that feeling of like god like it's just i feel like guilty like oh my god like am i am i doing what i need to be doing am i not like i need i i need your help and then dealing with the fact that this feeling just was not shaking off of me like i i could i could not shake it off and i'm like I like we need to do something about this because this is not gonna work and so I currently feel like at times I still wrestle with a lot of the realities of being a young widow and just grieving and um a lot of just like fundamental and and um just fractures I feel that have been um made to the foundation of my heart and uh dealing with those things and really surrendering those areas of my heart to god it's it's a lot of work and i think that it could be draining and so i have to personally have grace over myself and so really i want to turn this whole video around to just express to you guys the importance of recognizing the power of what comes out of your mouth because if if what's coming out of your mouth is negative and brings essentially death to the dreams that you are cultivating and speaking over your lives we need to shift that verbiage we need to shift that vocabulary to one that is saying listen I, i'm not denying i'm not in denial of the fact that i'm not really feeling good today but i'm gonna thank you because you're allowing me to see this day and you're allowing me and giving me the gift to be able to even speak this into my life so i'm officially 29 years old it's still may of 2019 and i am amazed at how much 
I've grown since being 28 since last year all the things that life has tried to completely dismantle me with and I have been able by the grace of God to be able to hang on even at the times where it felt like I was hanging on to a thread okay literally hanging on with every fiber of my being um because essentially like sometimes it gets so hard that you're just like what's the point like no really like what is the point and it's so crazy how like god will come in rush in to your rescue and completely dismantle the things that you may have bought into in that season and I'm not saying I'm not saying it turns around overnight unfortunately for me I've had to wrestle and wrestle and press and tarry and and just like be like oh my god like Lord I need you to deliver me from these things and I will say, I will sit here, I was going to say stand here, but I'm not standing. I'll sit here and be a witness to how God literally does snatch us from the very hands of the enemy that tries to literally destroy our lives. He is out here trying to destroy our lives, but God is more powerful, um, sovereign, and he is in control. He knows exactly what he's doing with our lives. I feel like my hair is doing a thing. It's like flopping here, and it's extremely hot in this closet, so uh, I think it's time to wrap this video up. I did say it wasn't going to be long, but just like every other YouTuber that says this isn't going to be a long video, it ends up being a long video. I know this was a different setup for today. Um, it definitely feels a little bit more cozy, but there's clothes behind me, so I see the lighting already changing in my closet. I was about to say room. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, for subscribing, and just for supporting this channel, this platform. I always want to bring you guys quality content and just things that are relevant to you. And so I actually did a poll on Instagram of just some ideas for the next um, few months, few weeks coming up. And you guys gave me some really good ideas. One of them including like how I found a therapist, what are things that I look for in that. And I think those were like really great suggestions. But I also want to extend that to you guys. If you guys have any topics in mind. Oh, another one was about just singleness and like where I'm at with that girl that's like a whole series of videos so definitely leave those in the comment section below thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe turn on the post notifications because you already know thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video that you will continue to guide her with your light, God. Your word is a lamp unto our feet, Father God, a light unto her path, God. And we pray that you will continue to guide her, God, continue to cover her, God, continue to be 
how exactly who you are to her. Abba, her daddy, her father, her keeper, her sustainer, God. We pray, Father God, for everything that you have promised her that she yes. will see with her eyes, God, yes. and that her future generation, God, will be able to proclaim that she is a virtuous woman, uh -huh. God. We pray, Father God, for every life that she has touched, God, that they will continue to see you with every post, God, with every picture, with every video, with every endeavor, with everything that she trusts you with, yes. knowing that you are God alone before time began, knowing that you are her father, knowing that you are her friend, knowing that you are her lover, yes. knowing that you are everything that she needs as the great I am, mm -hmm. the beginning, the end, the alpha yes. and omega, God. We thank uh -huh. you for her life, God. We pray for a special anointing yes, over God. her, God, that yes. at the beginning, Father God, you saw fit, God, and you knew that she would live this life right now yes. in this generation, God, and you spoke her into existence, and yes. we know that every word that you have spoken over her will not return unto you void, God. Yes. We thank you, God, for the gift that she is to this world, to her family, God, and to everyone that gets to encounter her, God. We pray, Lord, that this year will be, God, a year that will yes. turn, Father God, yes. every fear into yes. faith like yes. never before, yes. every doubt, Father God, into deafness in you, God, that it will turn, God, everything yes. that the enemy meant yes. for evil, everything mm -hmm. that the enemy meant to destroy her, God, will be, Father God, a blessing. It will mm. be, Father God, a victory and a triumphant cry out that you have always been with her from the beginning of time and until you call her home. So we thank you for another year. Yes. We thank you, God, for all that you are going to do in this year. We thank you and we bless her life. Yeah. We bless her finances. Mm -hmm. We bless her yeah. creativity. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. bless yeah. Father yeah. God yeah. everything that she entrusts in your hand. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Speech. Flourish. She is the daughter. Last year, the daughter. Last year, the 20s is going to be bomb. Yes. Yes. It's going to blow my mind. Yes. Yes. It's going to blow all of our minds. Bro, my curls look bomb, man. Man, Ona is the bomb. Yo. So it's currently my birthday weekend and me and the girls, they're in bed chilling, taking a nap right now. But I've not vlogged this whole entire time. My sister. So yeah, we literally came from, where was it? Dos Caminos in Soho and it was bomb, all right? My birthday weekend has been amazing. My birthday week has been amazing. My birthday month has been amazing. Um, I got like a little refresh haircut from Ona at Five Salon and Spa in Fort Lee, New Jersey. So shout out to Ona. And yeah, like it's been amazing, guys. So I'm gonna chat a little bit more about my birthday week tomorrow, but I kind of wanted to check in to kind of have like the vlog piece but let me show you guys the view that we have like yo double tree shout out to double tree shout out to my sister oh we have somebody again i think it's our food all right so we got french fries because why not oh oh what's that on that it's gorgonzola gaga what <laughs> 